Let's just go back to um, Coral and Paul Jones. I know that you met them just last yeah. week, the, the parents of um, April yeah. Jones. Will you be able to look them in the eye in 18 months' time? Because they want you to change yeah. this. They want you to save another child's life. Will you be able to look them in the eye and say, it's worked and you've done all you can? I'll be able to look them in the eye and say, we have taken some good steps forward. I don't think we'll, we would have done everything um, that some campaigners will want. Uh, but I think we would have made lots of really big steps down the road that will help parents, that will help children, and that will reduce the amount of child abuse that takes place and is posted online. There is no single silver bullet, there is no single solution, but I believe I'll be able to look those parents in the eye and say we're doing everything we possibly can uh, to help, uh, to help um, make the situation better. Back in December, I said that what we wanted was when you buy a new computer and you open it up, there's a pre-ticked filter there with all the boxes ticked that's on and if you just go through next and click the buttons it will be on and then you start using your computer. I announced that in December. What's new about today is that we've agreed with the internet companies that actually this filter will then apply to other devices in the home and crucially because of course that only deals with new computers bought or new broadband uh, uh, agreements signed up to. Crucially the computer companies are going to go through their 19, the ISP companies going through their 19 mm. million existing customers and prompt them to put filters in place. So I think it's a big advance. Now, they didn't want to do this, so have you had to strong arm them into this? Well, we've had a series of discussions with them. Have they been heated? Well, of course they're heated because these are important issues. But to be fair to the companies, well, I don't want, look, I, I'm not trying to have some giant great fight. Uh, with a bunch of businesses. In the end, I want businesses to behave responsibly and we've talked to them about what is possible and what isn't possible and we've made some really good steps forward. So public Wi-Fi has now got a filter on it. So if you're sitting in Starbucks and the like, you're going to have a proper filter. So that's good news. As they say, they're going to flash up warnings when people are accessing inappropriate pages. They are going to put in place these default on filters and then remind people about uh, filters for their other computers. It's just that they want to do last bits of the piece that where the, the pressure is being applied. And have you had an experience in your own home where you think I need these filters? Um, I haven't had one where my children have accessed something that they shouldn't have done but I have seen you know how easily it could happen um, when children have got hold of your iPad and started looking at things that they absolutely should look at but it's quite easy to get diverted into something they shouldn't look at. Now that hasn't happened yet in my family, but I can see you're always in danger of, of a few clicks away from something you shouldn't see. So you'll be using them? Yes, I'm looking forward to these online filters um, being put in place because I'm, we're a classic example, you know, uh, on an Apple Mac and an iPad and a mobile phone and other bits and pieces that people use and these, you know, we need to apply filters to these things.